Hey everybody! Um, today we're going to be practicing a little bit more with probability, except today we're going to be using M&Ms. Everybody's going to get their own pack of M&Ms in just a few minutes so that we can do a little bit of a probability lesson with M&Ms just as a review before our test. So what you're going to do first is you're going to count your M&Ms. And so I've already gone ahead and um, divided everything out by color and counted them. And when I counted all of them, I have a total of 15 M&Ms. I have one yellow, four orange, three green, and seven blue. So let's just start really easily. Uh, what's the probability of pulling a blue out of the entire M&M pack? Well, you have to figure out how many blues you actually have versus how many total M&Ms that you have. In this case, we have seven blues out of 15 M&Ms total. That's as low as it'll get. It can't simplify from there. So our probability of pulling a blue out of the package um, from the very beginning will be seven over 15. Well, let's look at orange. I have four orange out of 15 total M&Ms. And so when I pull an orange out of the bag, I've got four out of 15th chance of getting that outcome. Well, now let's think about pulling a yellow and then a green with replacing. Remember, when you replace something, that's an independent event because what happens first does not affect what happens second. So let's think about what you have with yellow. I've only got one yellow, remember, out of 15 total M&Ms. Well, when I replace it, and remember, we're gonna multiply right there. When I replace it, I still end up putting my M&M back. So even if I take this yellow out, when I replace it, I've still got 15 total. So I know that that's not gonna change my denominator right here. Well, well I wanna look at the greens, and so I know I've got three greens. And so when I multiply, I multiply straight across when I multiply fractions, and that gives me 3 over 225, because 1 times 3 is 3, 15 times 15 is 225. Well, these are both divisible by 3, so that's going to end up reducing to 1 over 75, and that's as low as I can get. So your answer of how much of a probability you have of pulling a yellow and then a green out of this particular bag would be 1 over 75. Well, now let's move on to... Um, pulling an M&M without replacing it. And remember, this is a dependent event because when you pull it out, how whatever you pull out to begin with relies on what happens first and that affects what happens second. So again, knowing I've still got 15 total M&Ms, I wanna know how many of those are orange. Well, I know from the very beginning that four of those are orange. Well now, when I pull an orange out and I don't replace it, I now have 14 total M&Ms. And how many of those are blue? Seven. Four times seven is 28. 15 times 14 is 210. And both of these numbers are divisible by seven. So when I get down to reducing, I know that that can get me to four over 30. And now I notice that these two are even numbers, so those can also be divided by two. And my final answer is gonna be two over 15. So that's the probability of pulling an orange and then a blue without replacing it. Now I'm gonna replace that again and do my last example. So let's think about pulling a green and then something that's not green without replacing. So again, this is a dependent event because you are not replacing the M&M. So again, I know my total number of M&Ms is 15 and I've got three that are green. Well, I'm gonna pull one of those greens out and set that aside. And now you'll notice that I've got 14 M&Ms total again. And now I want to know how many of those are not green. So what I'm going to do is count what I have that's not green. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I've got 12 out of 14 now that are not green. Well, now I'm just going to go ahead and multiply across. 3 times 12 is 36, and 15 times 14 is 210. Well, both of these numbers are divisible by 6. So when I divide 36 and 6, I get 6, and 210 divided by 6 is 35. And I can't go any further than that because they have nothing in common from there. 
So hopefully this was a good review. You're going to be getting your index card soon and a pack of M&Ms so that we can do the same thing. And, you know, your answers are going to be different from the person sitting next to you because you're going to have a different number of um, M&Ms total, possibly a different number of colors. So hopefully this is a good review.